What's going on everybody? This is your boy Invisible and I am here for the greatest story ever told part two. So check it out. Mary and Joseph had to travel back to Joseph's hometown for some tax reasons. Now remember I brought I brought it up to print that age and I live in Atlanta, so I'm gonna say that um, Joseph is from the country, right? We're gonna say Milledgeville, Georgia. That's middle Georgia. Have you ever heard of it? Exactly. So, going back to Millersville, it's not a big city, so they don't have a whole bunch of places. I can just imagine Joseph having about eight brothers and sisters, meaning they got cheering themselves. So, Joseph's mama and daddy house was full. Mary is pregnant, and they need somewhere to go. Can you believe it? Hotels. Joseph worked for, um, I said he worked for Outcast. They ain't had no CD in a while, so he ain't getting paid that much. He can't afford no hotel. What are you doing? So what happens is he asks his neighbor down the street. He was like, yo, I'm Joseph, you know, so and so son. I'll let me. I, my wife is pregnant. I need somewhere so we can, you know, deliver the baby. They just so happen to have this little place out back, like a house. Like a little barn house or something. Because they live in the country, remember? And there's animals in there, but it's that, you know, room enough and okay for them to, you know, lay Mary down so she can have a baby and stuff like that. So Mary has the baby. Before we get to it, let's talk about this. The greatest thing that the world could ever happen, could ever have and happen to see, is about to be born in a condition that's very cold. It may be very cold in your life right now, because Jesus was born in the house. The blessing that you may be about to receive is very cold in your life right now. But know that the blessing that is coming is going to make up for so many things that you have lost out on, that you are, that you have asked God for. All right? Moving on. So, then what happened was, Mary has the baby. Mary has this baby out here with these animals or whatever. <laughs> she has to wrap her baby in some cloth of material. That's all the baby really needs to, you know, get started. Somebody, God has given a blessing to you, and you think you don't have everything it takes. Ooh, now this really might be for me. You don't know how much you have already just to do what you need to do for God. It don't take a whole bunch. Use what you have. And that's it. I'll get, I'm going to stop part two on that because that's, that's enough right there. Hey, get ready for part three of the greatest story ever told because we're going to talk about the people that come to visit Jesus. Hmm. Sometimes when you think <laughs> things are really crazy and you think like this ain't right, you will get visitors to to confirm that what you're doing is a okay. I'm out, y'all. Greatest story ever told. Part deuce. Check out part um my other Friday video called Don't Judge Me Friday. Okay. I'm out.